might not know when you'll get back, back home. We're back. But you better not See? be crying. Exactly. Although I it's guess like, I'd understand. It's like there's more of them, but you're but still you know a what? dick. Mm -hmm. There's a time when you have to stop crying and move on. You see what I'm saying? Like, you're like watching that. an alcoholic Remember, literally, like, so like hit that. his rock yeah. bottom. Well, it's like one of those things where it's just like, uh, you know, I want, I always mind, hate I'm it no when it's like, things. you know, the guy is a dick to his kid or whatever, and then they try to frame it like, you know, he was toughening his kid up for the world or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, frame well, it like, like he was actually adult, okay. Though, you Anyways, watch that and you're like, no, that's I toxic behavior, you. bro. I believe Be in you. But he was good. also like 25 when he died. You know, no, no, I get We're it. We're five years older than this man when he died. I'm not explaining him. I'm just, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not waving it away, but I'm he saying some forms of media try to do it. You know what I mean? But it was too late. He was like, serious. it's just exactly like, like, like it was, but it was too late. Yeah. Had already accepted his fate. Like it's one of those things where it's like, you know, Jacked he. They try to. He was always talking he, about going home to Zanarkand. That's why he took all those pictures. To show them to you when he returned. But as he journeyed with us and came to understand Spira and Braska's resolve, it happened gradually. But Jekt changed. He decided he would join Braska in his fight against Sin. So then, he gave up going home? That was his decision. I guess I understood. My old man, he knew there was no way back home, back to Xanarkand. He wanted to go home, but he knew he couldn't. He couldn't go on until he accepted it. Besides, even if he had found a way back, I don't think he would have left his friends behind before their journey was complete. All right, let's go, guys. <laughs> See, it's Maybe like it shows I had to start accepting my own fate. It shows that kind of like, um. That like acceptance of like. Mm -hmm. That my dad was a bad, like, not a great dad, but at least he wasn't like a terrible person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, It's like when you come from a broken home of sorts, you know, it's just like. When you finally get to the point where you realize that your parents were just people. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's funny. I was gonna say, like, Jack's one of those guys who, like, who fucking has his, own, who abandons his own kid, but then gets shacked up with a, with a uh, woman, and then like raises her kid and loves that kid like it was his own. Like, I was thinking, like, how funny would it be if, like, that's what he did with Yuna? That would be some shit. Like he basically treated like but she was again, the father figure to Yuna. She would never that have had been though. Like that would explain like Yuna's like absolute. Exactly. Adoration object. Because he's daddy. <laughs> so like he, my he daddy nice went uncle. and died. This is my actual daddy. He's, he's my nice uncle. And meanwhile, the actual son is just like, go fuck yourself, you know. Exactly. He was a dick, and she's like, no, Wait. not my daddy. Yeah. <laughs> Jack loved you. But here's something I was thinking too. Oh come Jack on, please. Oh, he just didn't know how to express it. He said. Enough about my old man, okay? I just thought you should know. Yeah, okay. <sighs> Thanks. It's true, though. I'm thinking if I were to have that difficult conversation with a 17-year-old that had daddy issues, mm -hmm. oy, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd probably be just as monotone about it myself. I just feel like, listen, I'm giving you this information. Do what, do with it what you will. It but... sucks getting older, too. And you know why? Because it's just like, it's that point in time where you start agreeing with Triton instead of Ariel. Mm hmm. That's a good point. Yeah. She's just like, I'm, I'm 17. 16, I'm, I'm an, an adult. adult. No, you're not. And he's basically like, No, you are not. You are absolutely still a child, and you need to go back to your fucking room. Mm hmm. It's one of those things where it's like, remember, like, back so you in know like that's the, when your dreams have died. In, like, the 2010s, they tried, people were, like, framing the, that story as, like, oh, this is such an anti feminist story, and now people are trying to rebrand it as a pro feminist story. I'm just How about like, it just be a story? You know what? No, here's the thing. It's just that life is Funny complicated. Idea. People are complicated, and the lens in which you view it. 
Because some people view it as, you know, she gave up her soul for a fucking... <laughs> for two legs and a vagina. And a man she doesn't know. But on the other way, you view it as like, hey, she went and she went for what she wanted and didn't listen to anyone else, you know? True. But at the same time, she's also a teenager. Teenagers should not go for what they want. Exactly. Well, not like in that case, and not in that kind of scenario. Not for romance. Not for life-changing decisions. No, like... Like the one post someone made? The only time you should be making life-changing decisions for like a teenager, I believe, is like, if they're gonna die if you don't. Someone made a really funny post that was like, when I was 17 years old, I wanted to get a Limp Bizkit tattoo. But I couldn't because I wasn't old enough. I cried and I punched a wall. <laughs> a couple years later, they let me take <laughs> thousands of dollars in debt and student loans. Straight up, though. You know, and because that's the weird thing about age, is just like they say when you're old enough, but it's just like, what's the couple of months do any difference either way? I mean, I understand. And how far out? It's one of those things where it's like when it comes to age, you could always make that argument. Like, that argument literally always exists no matter what age you choose. But that's why it's important that you kind of just need to have lines in the sand. You know what I mean? It's one of those things where it's just it's like, true. you know, a fucking. But it does feel unfair, though, sometimes. Yeah, and it's just one... Hi yeah. there! But it's just like, you know, you again, look it's at like, this? there really is no... They way always leave me really behind. Dropping it back. Oh, you want me to scratch you? I feel so bad for Plasco. There, uh, good like, boy. Like, because he always gets the short <laughs> end of the stick, How'd man. you know what it wanted? Like, he uh, just loves chocobos. I've always been able to tell how chocobos feel. Maybe I'd make a better chocobo breeder than chocobo knight, huh? Hey, Yo, what job I bet do you Plasco see me doing? Chocobo is autistic. Chocobos are his, like... Breeder. Make him a breeder. He's not Yeah! Breeder. I think so, too! Hmm. You know, like I his might just give it a try. Is chocobos, man. I was just saying, like... he like, became a whole dude, knight because of I it. totally know how chocobos Should were I created. Would Captain Lucille let me? The creator of Final Fantasy was on the floor. And he looked over and he saw a horse. And he looked on to his right and he saw a chicken. Looked back to the left and saw a person riding the horse. Looked back to his right and saw a chicken. And he was like, that would be crazy. <laughs> Is that chicken? I bet I could ride this giant chicken. What if this chicken was the size of the horse? Wow, that sounded loaded? really sexual. I bet I can ride this giant chicken if he had cock. That didn't sound sexual at all. What, because you said ride? I bet yeah. I could ride this giant... No one talks like that during sex. No one's like, like, what if somebody did? Like, chicken. what would you react like if I said, like, yo, hon, I want to ride your giant chicken? <laughs> <laughs> we would sit down and have a conversation. <laughs> we would have a conversation. Oh, yeah, I found something out. Do you remember that old viral comedy video about that chick giving a dry blowjob. What is that? What? It was a comedy video. This girl's just like, you know, it looks like it's the intro to one of those pornos and she's describing the blowjob she's gonna give and it's just miserable sounding. It's gonna be so dry. I'm gonna use my teeth and just really act. Uh, and the guy's like, yeah, exactly, the guy's like cringing like, no, don't, like, no. Please, like, for the love of God, don't do Like, it's that. clear that she doesn't know how to give a blowjob and she cringes uh, and then, um, I mean, but like, honestly, that was in this day and age, people would pro there's somebody that's into that. And she was like, fucking somebody's totally into, into a nice girl giving bad blowjobs. Blow like, like they're like, like, I want it to hurt. So like, you know, she was like dabbing her tongue with a napkin, like it's gonna be so dry for you, baby. <laughs> but anyway, uh, it was only until recently that I realized that the chick in that video went on to play Aaron in the office. And Wait, what? Yeah, she, you know, obviously it was a sketch, so obviously... Oh, it was a sketch? Like, she yeah. wasn't legit? No, I thought you were talking about a, a video real of, porno? like, he fucked. No, not a real porno. It was a fucking comedy sketch on fucking YouTube. I thought you were talking about, like, a video of he fucked or something, where it's like the girl is just saying the worst vile shit possible nah. to do to your dick, and she was serious. Nah, it was a comedy <laughs> sketch, but then the actress went on to go play Aaron in the office, and apparently, I guess she's embarrassed by that video because she's been I mean, trying that's to scrub fair. I don't think so. I'm like, it just shows your comedic range, and I'll be proud of it. 
Well, you know what? It's just like it's the whole entire thing with like, you know, just, just women in general. Tell me all about women in general next time, babies. Bye. Bye.